In this video, we are going to take a look at a set of data and determine whether that data appears to be linear or quadratic, and then use Desmos to calculate a, an appropriate regression for that data, whether it be linear or quadratic. So the first step that we should do is plot all of this data in a scatter plot. So I have put it in a table here, and then we draw our scatter plot. And now it's time to kind of take a look at our data. So if we're looking at the data, the beginning of the data from about uh, 30 to 55 seems to be linear. Um, but you can see once we reach 55, it kind of turns back the other direction and does not appear to be a, a linear curve anymore. So I would say that this data appears to be nonlinear, which means we should probably use a quadratic regression to calculate an equation to best fit this model or to best model this data. So to do a quadratic regression, you have a couple options. You can do a quadratic regression in standard form where your equation would be y equals ax squared plus bx plus c uh, with a, b, and c being real numbers. Or we could do it in vertex form. Um, I will show you both of those. So remember vertex form is y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And so that from there we can get quickly and easily get the vertex. So I'm gonna first do standard form. And when we're talking about standard form, um, remember it's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, so just like when we did the linear regression, we're going to be referencing the data from this table so anytime we talk about a y or an x, we need to make sure we use the subscript y sub one and x sub one. So for the standard form equation, it's y sub one is about, and then we're gonna put it ax sub one squared. So ax sub one squared plus bx sub one plus c. So you just type in your equation here and it has graphed our quadratic. Uh, you can see that we are given the values of a, b, and c. And if we wanted to write our equation, we would just use those as the coefficients for our terms. Um, a is a negative value, and that makes sense because our parabola is opening down. So we should have a negative leading coefficient. And then that is our equation. So this is the equation in standard form. Um, we could have done our equation in vertex form, and I'm actually just gonna bring a new cell up here and do our equation directly in standard in vertex form right in the same uh, graph. So vertex form is y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So again, anytime we have an x or a y value, we have to use the subscripts that we have in our table here so it knows what data we're referencing. So again, it's y sub one is about a times the quantity. So we're gonna say x sub one minus h. This whole quantity is being squared, so we're gonna raise it to the second power and then plus our value of k for our vertex. Um, now, the way that this is different from this, this is the standard form equation, this is the vertex form equation, is that in vertex form, we're given A, H, and K, where H and K represent the X and Y coordinates of our uh, vertex, right? If we look here, we can see this is the X coordinate of the vertex and the Y coordinate of the vertex, and we get that from this. So the equation that you use to actually do the regression probably depends on what you're trying to get. If you need to know your vertex, maybe it's better to use vertex form. Um, if you need to know other information, maybe it's better to use standard form. So these are the two different ways that you can do a quadratic regression using Desmos.